Welcome boys and girls and everybody else that is watching this video. In this video, I will show you the updated version of my competitive turtle map that I've created to host on the EU Blueprints Discord server. If you want to play turtle fires, if you want to get better decision making as well as practicing late game, be sure to check it out. Link of the EU Blueprints Discord server will be in the description. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into it then. I won't mention anything about the outdoor section. I haven't changed it. This video will be only about indoor section, how to play by the rules um, of most Discord servers and most sort of fights, as well as the role from a host and the role as a player, and how you can follow the rules. So uh, yeah, let's get at it. Before we go into it, I haven't changed anything about the dimensions. It's still a 17 by 17 map. As you can see, I've added an extra layer as well as squares on top. In these squares, there will be a spawner plus chest with all the needs you will need to play a competitive turtle fight. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Once you respawn, we'll respawn in one of these spawners. We'll spawn it right now. In front of you, there will be a chest. You can open this and there will be a variety of different items. You can compose your own loadout. For now, that's how we're gonna play it. There's two and a half K mats in. I can up that or down that. Whatever feels best. We still haven't tested this map out on a big scale. In here, you can also get shields as well as bandies. You can choose to go for explodes, but of course, you sacrifice slots for that. Uh, you could go for a deagle, bandies, whatever you prefer the most. Uh, first, as a player, once you have gathered your loot, you will be here waiting for the word of the host go down a path show you in a second right here as soon as you get the sign of the host that you're allowed to go down you can go down and you can step on one of the eyes you can choose it by yourself first we added numbers but that will be in the way of the ramps so i've changed it up to some eye platforms whatever it may be anyways um you can set up on one of these eyes to build a one by one but too high and one wide from here you will sit up here and you wait for the sign of the host to start once you die you will not respawn very important rule you will always stay up here you will never go down because it will interrupt with the other players playing that's the whole purpose of the certifies practice late game scrim it's no deathmatch it's no free for all you won't respawn so just follow the rules boys and stay up here of course the host will have some ways to keep people from going down here if they will do anyways just to be safe boys just try to stay up don't go down don't interrupt with the game so having said that as soon as the host is ready to host ready to go and then the players are too you hear the host call out or a bot three two one and then you're gonna move okay but before he does that he's gonna call out northwest at 28 so you have one minute to move to the first northwest zone well, you move you move you build of course cover yourself then you will be in the first northwest zone the first northwest zone is the whole yellow or yellow orange area as well as the eye of course you can stand in there as well just, just for the spawn purpose but the whole yellow zone is the first zone you'll set up here try to survive stay alive as long as possible the purpose of this game is not going for kills it's to practice a late game so don't don't go w everyone that's not the point of it once you're in here and you've been here for a while and the host will say next zone at let's say 2735 you have to be in the next zone by 2735 you'll be here other people will move here the zone will be smaller as well as above above will shrink in as well so you have less movement to um to build upwards if you do however decide to build upwards and you will go too far which is not allowed of course you will be greeted by some nice traps that will keep you from going there. Um, going above this area in any way, especially like here where the host will set up, is um, not allowed. And you will be either removed if this happens more often. Because it will be considered as trolling, of course. Cheating by the rules. Anyways, having said that, um, as soon as the host will say, next zone, northwest, moving in 20 seconds whatever he can call out by time he can call it by amount of seconds left whatever he prefers he will move into the next zone the next zone of course again will contain his eye as well as the complete white area 
dual setup here again it's smaller here's only three high which was five high before now it's only three high and only four squared big most of the times will only contain a small amount of players as soon as that is done if it's still alive the host will tell you to move northwest in this small area there's only three floors and two high so six boxes total or i can count but it finds whatever you know what i mean um you will be here and you will fight it out if no one tries to fight and everybody's holding in boxes because they're low HP, the guy with the most HP will win. Doesn't matter on what kind of healing items you have, the most HP on when the host ends the game will grant you the win. Um, that's about it for the player's perspective. You cannot, like I said, drop down here. Don't interrupt with the game. Uh, w keying isn't allowed. Try to pick people off in rotations when they have to move to the next area where they need to be. And don't go above high limits because this will cost you the game. And if you do this too often, you can um, get you banned. So in any way, um, let's get to the host perspective. Because on my map, I'm not sure how other hosts will try and do it. I have had I have set up a hidden chest. I want to show this chest, of course. Since this will reveal the location <laughs> for when I'm going to use it to host. Um, but in the chest are stinkies and traps. The traps will be used when if the players go down here to block the entire um, dropping down way out full of traps so nobody can drop. Always place a few here because they can pickaxe the top layer a bit away. And for the bottom they just pyramid that so be sure to place them here. People cannot go down in that way. Um, of course maybe they will find a way to, to, to handle it but um, I better hope not so and otherwise you can always remove them out of the game. Uh, for the rest for the host. The host will always set up here. If you want, you can set up a timer for when the game starts. It's a 10 minute countdown to view how much time your game takes. Uh, I thought it would be a nice small addition. So on here, I've added multiple pathways you can follow, as well as areas you can view downstairs. Because the host's job is, you know, to maintain a good competitive um, environment. That will only be done if people follow the rules. So the first zone. Um, will be called out and people let's say move in this zone to the northeast side and if people by the time you have told them to be in the orange zone still at the black zone you will have those stinkies um, to throw you know make actual zone movement so people will move in you know create an actual in-game environment for the players as soon as they moved in here you can do it again if they don't move in there you can do it again here I have like I said you know set up some multiple ways to view downstairs great for the lost zone you can just check the entire lost zone area if everybody is doing good following by the rules um of course if nothing happens late game at one point you have to stop the game tell the boys that it's over and whoever has the most hp like i said earlier wins i've also added some traps here just for protection so people won't come pushing upstairs you can clearly see what is the high limit a lot of orange walls so it wouldn't be hard to miss it um yeah that was basically it guys so if you want to join scrims be sure to check it out in the discord i think i mentioned everything needed to be here so uh